What is up? I am the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. And we're about to enter, probably, from my experience, the uh, third most difficult uh, area of any RPG I've ever played. Ex save for the Seventh Saga, that 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 whole game is just really hard. No, I'm not gonna let's play it. It's just a grinder. Same with Dragon Warrior One. I mean, Dragon War you know what? Dragon Warrior One is less of a grinder than the Seventh Saga. But anyway, so this is the Ice Cave. Oh, above this in difficulty is the uh, Rhone Cave in Dragon Warrior Two, and the. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. The whole game of the Seven Song. <laughs> that game is the hardest game I've ever played. So the enemies you encounter in this first uh, floor, they're not that bad. I mean, you got like red bones, which I just killed. So that's money, that's experience. Cockatrice, mummies. Not, you know, not that bad of a group of enemies. See, red bones, easy enemies. Easy enemies. I mean, why are these guys here? If you went to the Ordeal Cave and got the, the uh, Zeus Gauntlet, that's definitely going to help you out right here. It, it's definitely going to help you out. Because, I mean, like, you only have so many fire spells. Like, everyone in this cave is weak against fire. Either that or they have no weakness. As you're gonna find out in uh, in the outtakes of this episode, and there will and there were several of them. Some of the enemies in this place will just plain own your ass, and there is not much you can do about it except just start over from the beginning. But that's. On a later day. Okay. <laughs> what I suggest you do in this level. No, just. In the Origins version, if you go down and to the left, I think, you encounter more ice giants and ice wolves. Uh, but in this one, it's just a matter of luck who you face. I, like I said, ice giants, ice wolves. But you could also encounter groups of sorcerers and mages, which I think I encounter right here, yep. This is what they do to you. Own. Own. And then they usually follow up with the rub spell with bolt three, which I'm not gonna show here. <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's, that, you'll see more of that in, in the bloopers. And then there's sorcerers who can use an attack called trance, which will basically paralyze your whole party, and then they will attempt to one-shot kill you with their physical attacks. Awesome. I think I was just checking out my, on my party there. So this, so this is like, take 20 of this one area. This one little floor right here. Oh god. Oh, these are, oh, yeah. You can also fight images and rats and other paralyzing uh, undead. What I suggest you do is just run with, uh, run with your, run, run with the members of your party who can't target everyone, a fighter and thief, naturally, and use items slash fire or harm against all the other enemies, hopefully, hoping for a win, but if you don't win and just run without getting your, getting everybody paralyzed, then that's okay. Of 
course, instead I'm going to be an idiot and try to fight these guys. Because I have three shots of fire three, so... I could probably just kill them all in one turn. As you can see the murderous effects of this spell right here. 102, what the hell? did like nothing, 100, 102, it usually does 220, 240, some, some of them hit in the 300s, so that's pretty crazy, <clears throat> nice, oh, that's an easy, that was an easy level, I don't know why that was there, Okay, uh, in this level, it's the same as the last two. You will either fight undead, ice giants, which you want to fight, or you will fight mages and sorcerers and they will straight kill you. Yeah, undead. I'm running from these assholes. Use, use the Zeus thing. Zeus glove. Bullshit. Oh god damn it. Oh. If you can run up oh, nice. Oh god. Yay. <laughs> I think I should have edited edited this part out. No no, I just used a different safe state. Need to edit that part out. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really remember what I did here. That I think I won. I think I beat them. Either that, or I just made everyone run. Or whatever. Should have just used a shot of fire three. <laughs> no, I just made everyone run. <laughs> Oh god, fucking paralyze everybody. I hate this place. Like, the enemies aren't as much tough as they are annoying. I mean, like, undead enemies, not tough at all. They're really easy to kill. But they're just annoying as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Same thing with, oh yeah, you also fight wizard pisco demons here. So you, who you can't run from. You know, they're just annoying too. Mages aren't tough either, they have 100 HP, but they can one-shot kill your ass. So, you know. However, the, uh, Roan Cave in Dragon Warrior 2. Those motherfuckers will own your ass in that place. Because everyone has, like, 180 HP, and you only have three people on your team. And you just have barely over 100 HP. Don't get the chest to the right, it's guarded by mages, and it doesn't have the best... It doesn't have anything that you want. Believe, believe me, it does not have anything that you want in it. But we do get the flame sword in this uh, one to the left. Which is nice, if you have, like, three warriors, and, like, one of them needs a better uh, weapon than the uh, silver. Mithril sword. Then go for it. But otherwise, it's just money. I think red mages and red wizards can equip it too. But I don't know. That was an encounter spot. You will usually fight like nine undead enemies there, but I only fought four. The room to my left contains the ice armor. And in order to get the ice armor, you will need to fight at least one uh, blue dragon. No, no, ice dragon, sorry. And it can kill you with blizzard. But since I only have, like, one warrior in my party, I only need, only need the uh, flame armor, so I'm not going to get the ice armor. I'll get it in a later episode. I'll put it in the uh, loose ends uh, series. 
Yeah, here's a group of here's a group of enemies that are very uh, that are worth fighting. <laughs> frost giant and frost walls. Frost walls can use frost, which does yeah, 40 to 90 damage on everybody. I wouldn't really care because they only have like 98 HP. So you can kill them with one shot of fire too, usually. Frost giants can hit you really hard. They have about 350 HP, but they have a lot of, uh... They have a lot of experience points, a lot of, uh, money, so... Anyway, that's all I have for this episode. Later. Peace.